Clay just got their second round of funding and they're valued over one billion dollars and they have over 100,000 users. But the funny thing is, most of them have not even gotten started. And the reason for that is people go around LinkedIn, they go around other social media platforms and see those enrichments and the tables people are using and think, this is way too complicated, but it actually isn't. To get started with Clay is super, super simple. And that's something I noticed over a year ago when I started using it. Uh, it actually isn't hard at all to get started. So today I'm gonna show you the basics. It legit takes only a few minutes to master the basics of Clay. The 80% of Clay that you actually need to get started is super, super simple. They're already templates. Everything is just ready for you to use. And let's get straight into it. So how do you go from something like this that is completely empty, nothing in it, and you just don't know where to get started to something like this, where you have everything you would ever need. First name, last name, email, company name, title. You can also generate first line based on their past clients, based on their website, their like Facebook posts, whatever you need. How do you do this? Now, it's super, super simple. The first thing you need to do is just find their LinkedIn profile URL. Now to do this, you can use anything. You can use LinkedIn Sales Navigator, you can use Phantom Buster, you can use Apollo, anything. But that's all you need to get started. And that's also the best like source of information for Clay to use. So I really recommend doing that. Now, once you've got your LinkedIn URLs, uh, it's going to look something like this. Now you're obviously going to have more than four leads, but I'm just going to show you how this works. But yeah, this is just a basic I just grabbed four links here. One is me, one is Oscar, and then two other leads that I'm gonna show you exactly how it works. To get started, just click add column and then add enrichment. And here you have a lot of different things you can do, but what you need to do is just find enrich person. And then this one here, enrich person, super easy. Just press that one and then hit social URL. Make sure that it's a LinkedIn profile. Obviously the optional part here, email, you don't have any, that's what you need to find. Continue to add fields. Now, once you're in here, ignore all the first ones here, because sometimes uh, the organization up here and the organization and experience is a different one. So make sure you choose company here uh, you can use the linkedin if you want to as well company domain because you need that for vina and then show less you're done and then you also make sure that you have the url linkedin here then you can choose whatever you want you can use country location name anything basically you need to use first name and you also need to use last name there you go uh, some i don't know for some reason it's not sorted at all but that's all you need and then hit save and run rows and it's going to take a few seconds now as you can see uh, we have everything we need company the url the company domain for some reason i don't have one first name last name um, and then your done you need this once you've run this enrichment you have all you need to find the email address uh, so what you do is you hit add column add enrichment and then you do work email there are options to do personal email but i recommend doing work email if you want to like be safe from spam because if you send send emails to the personal email you're probably going to get marked uh, spam way more often than using work email so yeah hit work email um, as you can see you have a lot of different actions here uh, they use one two three four five seven i think seven softwares to find the email so full name just use uh, make sure that it's the right one name yeah cool company domain experience yeah and then you can choose if you want to validate the email right in here or not i'm not going to do that because i'm using rion email verifier a third-party platform to do this and this is all you need so make sure it's the right name and also the correct column for the company domain and then you hit save and run for rows and again it's going to take a few minutes for it to run um, don't be afraid of the errors it always comes back with errors every now and then for some reason i don't know why just ignore them they're always going to work but as you can see it's working through many different softwares here to find the correct email maybe it doesn't find one yeah as you can see error so it doesn't find an email for this lead and usually gives you about 50% of the leads email. So if you have 200 leads, you're probably gonna get around 100 verified emails. Um, so that's pretty good ratio in my opinion. Now you have everything you need. So you have the first name, the last name, the company domain, the company name, the LinkedIn URL, and you can also choose to find um, the title to the person of, uh, in the company. Then you also found uh, the email. But yeah, this is the easiest way to get uh, get started with Clay, uh, to find the, the emails and everything you need, the basics basically. And as you can see, like it only takes a few minutes, everything's ready for you. You just choose the templates they have and you're done. So the barrier to entry is way lower than you think. Um, now the next things I'm gonna show you are um, a bit more advanced, but they're also insanely valuable. Let's get into it so the next thing i'm going to show you is an enrichment that finds the prospects past client which is a very very good thing to use in um, in the cold email and outbound campaigns in general and just mentioning the past client is usually something that gets um, gets the prospects uh, off guard so to do this just hit add column again use add enrichment use ai clagent argon done and the prompt i'm just going to paste it in here choose the company domain boom and yeah i want you to act as a prosecutor who is building a case against a fraudulent company you'll need to find um, the name of the defendant's past Ask clients so you can uh, call them to the stand. Defendant's website, look for the testimonials, reviews, case studies, yeah, anything. You get the idea. It's going to find the past client. This is all you need. Just make sure that the defendant's website is the actual company domain. And if everything is correct, just hit save and run for rows. Let it work. It's magic. Now, Clay's web scraper is actually pretty insane. It's very, very fast and it actually works very, very well. 
I think it uses a, like a bunch of different AIs to, um, to to scrape the web and then just analyze the data. Uh, not really sure how it works, but it's actually really, really good. As you can see, one is done. A company named Vanta. And uh, no clue what that is. Probably a past client of Clay because this guy works at Clay, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, company domain Clay. Dental Care Alliance. Uh, as you can see, like the, the actual text it outputs is very, very good. It's not like some long, long text and some extra shit that you don't need. It's actually pretty, pretty concise, which is really good. So we're just going to wait for it to, to finish and then uh, move on to the next enrichment. Now it's done. It took about one minute for uh, four leads. Obviously, they all work in like simultaneously. Uh, so if you have 200 leads, it's obviously going to take more time than a minute, but uh, they all work at the same time. So it's not going to take that much longer time. But yeah, you have Maverick, Maverick, Dental Care Alliance and Vanta. Now the next thing is it's going to generate a first line based on the past client, which is pretty cool. Uh, so yeah, hit add enrichment. You can use, just click use AI again. And the prompt is going to look like this. So I want you to visit and then just choose domain again. Uh, I want you to visit company domain and find the response. Uh, so the past client name, uh, testimonial and summarize it using max six words. Focus on finding the tangible results and metrics such as revenue, profits, clients and customers. You must use my prefix to complete, complete the final output. Here's my prefix. So you worked with response and and here's an example so you worked with amazon and double the revenue in 30 days this is a very good thing now make sure you choose the right uh, right columns and right data um for the prompt and once you're done just hit save and again save and run rows and then we're going to wait for it to finish it's probably going to go a bit faster this time because it's not really scraping anything so we're just going to wait a few seconds or minutes for it to finish so it took a few minutes uh but now it's done as you can see some are green some are yellow if it's green it's uh, it's a high confidence uh, generation if it's orange it's a medium confidence generation and that's just something they do i don't know why so here's an example of when it's done so i worked with maverick and generated one hundred and thirty seven thousand dollars in revenue a pretty good uh, first line to be honest and here's the same website and so i worked with maverick and booked clients through personalized video outreach so i worked with dental care alliance and streamlined operations you get the idea it's very very good uh, generation it's something that often ca catches the, the prospects of guard uh, so you get the idea it's a very good uh, generation you get the idea it's a very good first line uh, and it's something that catches the prospects of guard when uh, when sending it to them so i really recommend doing both these um, enrichments if you want to use clay to the fullest potential now once you've done all this uh, and run these enrichments you really don't need anything else i'm still going to show you a few more things before we're done but using these things you found now you don't need anything else you have everything you could ever need to run outbound campaigns using clay but yeah i'm going to show you a few more things and let's get straight into it so the next thing is going to generate a first line based on their website now it's going to be a different approach to this first line i'm going to show you exactly how it looks uh, so what you do is head column that you say i again and then the prompt is going to look like this i want you to act as a cold caller who uh, who just called a possible client they picked up the phone you are selling a cold email course so you have to mention the course in the first line you need to come up with the first line that uh, they can say to the client based on the website visit the client's website blah blah yeah you get the idea this is how the prompt looks you can copy it and then change the website here to the correct column so what you do is you just change it to the company domain again and boom you're done yeah and hit save run rows and let's make it now obviously it's taking some time to get started here but not more than 15 minutes and honestly that's not a long time at all and once you've done the table once you can just duplicate the table you can share them as templates and don't have to do anything else you just need to paste in the linkedin url and you have the enrichment ready now 15 minutes is not a long time for all this in my opinion now even if you don't want to get started and do this yourself you can just use the template that i'm doing right now in the video i'm going to link the template in the description you can just copy it you can also sign up using our link and so you don't have to do anything you don't have to invest any time at all in clay to get started you can just use our template use these templates and get started right away all you need is just a linkedin profile urls and nothing else but yeah now that it's done as you can see i'm confident that low lead generation can be solved using our cold email academy so as you can see it mentioned the course every single output and that's because in the prompt we say you have to mention the course in the first line now instead of mentioning the course you just change this to the offer you have so the service the software whatever you sell change it to that and make sure that it always mentions it uh, so instead of saying course it's going to say your software or your product or your offer whatever whatever it may be um, so make sure that it's um, the right offer basically so you don't use the, the academy as we do, we've done here now you have every enrichment you could ever need with clay now there are two more things i'm going to show you in this video one is finding lookalike companies and one is actually exporting the leads to instantly or smartly i'm going to show you instantly but it's super super simple so first let's find some lookalike companies so what you do is you click add in the bottom left corner click find company lookalikes with ocean.io continue and then enter these forms and then fill out the values here. So once you fill it out, it's going to look something like this. Company domain, company size, the country, the keywords, the limited results to eight, the minimum lookalike score to 0 0.8. Uh, obviously, you can use however many filters here you want, as you want. I'm just going to do these because I don't need anything else. But for you, you can use like technologies, uh, the primary countries. You can use lower rates when it comes to like employees. You can use, yeah, whatever you want, basically. Uh, revenue ranges as well. But yeah, I'm going to hit submit and creating source and boom. Now it's going to take a few minutes for it to work and I'll be back when it's done. All right. So 
the lightning might look a bit different now. That's because I had to re-record this part of the video uh, for some reason. Uh, anyways, I've done the whole table and I just need to show you exactly what happened here. So after the fine lookalike company's enrichment was run, uh, what you get is the name of the company, the domain. You get the company size, the description, the LinkedIn. That's all you get from uh, from Ocean.io. And if you want more companies, I'll show you later on how to um, how to like add more companies to this list. That's super easy to do. But in the meantime, I'll just show you uh, how to find actual contacts from those companies. So what you do, you just simply search for that enrichment and you'll find it straight away. It looks like this called find contacts at company. What you need to make sure here is that it is the correct LinkedIn URL. And as you can see, if you hover here, it's linkedin.com slash company slash mail delivery, Ubico Labs, people.ai, verify data, Mailshake, Mails AI. Yeah, you get the idea. Uh, and then you just start filtering what kind of um, titles you want and what kind of contacts you want from the company. In this case, I made owner C-suite as the senior levels. Keywords on the titles were uh, CEO, founder, owner, CEO, and then also chief executive officer, chief operating officer. And I also checked the box here, job title, exact keyword match. Uh, that's the reason why I spelled out chief executive and chief operating as well. Uh, and then I did nothing else, basically. Some people do company size, locations, stuff like that. I did nothing. I just limited to one contact per company. Obviously, in normal, in normal cases, I'd probably choose to do um, locations. Um, I'll do company size. I'll do stuff like that, maybe even uh, like revenue uh, or uh, something like that. So most of the lookalike companies that I'm going to get here is going to be uh, either based in the US or focused on the US market. Both cases, very good for me. And then you hit save and then you continue to add fields. And it's going to look something like this. So what you need to make sure here is that you have the URL, the first name and the last name, and also maybe the full name. But you can grab that data from uh, just combining the first name and last name. Either way, that's all you need. I include the title as well. We already have the organization and stuff like that. You could do country as well as if you want to. Yeah, you just grab whatever uh, data you want here and then you just hit um, save and run. And after you've hit save and run, it's going to take some time. And then you're going to see that you have contacts to about 50% of the companies. And as you can see, like no profile found, no found, no found, no found, no found. And you'll see found two people, found one people, two people, and then they just grab one of the two people uh, or three people in this case. Uh, you get the idea. And then you can see that you have first name, last name, and then full name if you've cho chosen that. And the URL, the LinkedIn URL and the title. Then we run the same waterfall enrichment that we did in the first table to find the email, the work email. So you just follow this exact same just setup as you did uh, that time. And then we use the same waterfall enrichment to find the email as we did in the first table. I'll just show you here exactly how it was again. Uh, it's full name and the company domain. I disabled the validation provider. Then I just hit save. And after you hit save and let it run, you can see that we have contact emails to basically every single prospect. And you might wonder, the last time I did this, we had about 50%. And that's because the data that Ocean.io grabs compared to the data that these providers here do to find the work email is basically the same data. So if they have data on ocean.io, then these providers also have the data uh, for emails most of the time. But yeah, either way, as you can see, we have a lot of emails and we have about 50% of the prospects here again as last time. And then we're going to move on to the same AI generated first lines here. Those are the exact same setup as last time. So instead of showing you exactly how to set those up again, I'm going to show you how to push this data to instantly.ai in a single uh, enrichment column here. So what you do is you hit add column, add enrichment, you search for instantly add lead to campaign and then you choose the correct API key. I have loads here as you can see. So I chose Comatic for just simplicity. I choose the campaign. I'm going to do this one uh, and then you just fill out the rest of the fields here. So first name, make sure it's the first name, last name, company name, make sure it's the right one. Personalization, ignore this. Uh, what you're going to do is instead use custom variables. Then you're going to do past client here and then variable value. Just do defendant, client and then response. Boom, done. And then you're going to do first line, past client so that's the first line based on the past client or using the past client and then do the same thing here just find it client testimonial summary response and then the last one is cold pitch i'll call it that's the one more like silly towards um with the course that's more of a pitch cold call pitch here response and then just hit save and run all rows then you are done and when you're done with the instant enrichment what's going to happen is every time you add new leads to this table it's going to get auto pushed to instantly now before i said that i validate my emails in a third party platform so if you do this, make sure that you head over to the work email enrichment again, edit column, and make sure that you've enabled validation here. So you do, because you do not want to send emails to um, to faulty inboxes, basically. So make sure that you validate all the emails you actually push to instantly to make sure that you actually don't land in spam or hurt your deliver deliverability. But in this case, I validate my um, my emails using Reon email verifier. So I'm not going to do this. I'm just going to export it. So now that you set up all the columns here, all the enrichment and the push to instantly, what you do is to find more
more leads, uh, more lookalike companies, just hit this column, click sources, click this one here. And then just, if you want to have a hundred more, just press a hundred, fetch ad additional results. And it's going to look like it's not loading, uh, but it is just give it a few seconds or minutes. Yeah. And it's going to add more leads in a second here. Let's just wait for it and boom, done. And it's going to auto update everything here. As you can see, super, super useful. So every, every time you want more leads, just go back to the clay table, hit fetch additional results and you're done. So that way you can find unlimited amounts of leads for your outbound campaigns. What you need to make sure is that your score of your lookalike companies always is over 0 0.8, so 80%. What you do is you go to the bottom row, uh, which is always the, the lowest score, uh, click that company found row. And then in the top right corner, you can see score. Uh, this, in this case, it's 0 0.903, which is good. As long as it's not under 0 0.8, you're good. So make sure that is always over that. But until you've hit that 0 0.8 mark or under that, you can still go here, sources, find lookalike companies, and just spam the fetch additional results button until you've hit that mark. And then you just have unlimited amounts of leads for your outbound campaigns, which is really, really good. This way, you don't have to lead source anything. <laughs> Clay does everything for you or Ocean does it for you. Everything is automated. All the enrichments is done. Everything gets pushed, pushed to instantly as well. You don't have to do anything except for handling your inbox, which is pretty neat in um, this day and age. And there you go. Now you have basically everything you could ever need with Clay. You know how to find emails, you know how to enrich companies, how to enrich people, how to generate lines, uh, how to validate emails, how to create AI generated pitches, everything. I don't know anything else you could actually need from Clay. If you want to generate like AI generated summaries, people or companies or longer first lines or whatever it may be, you have the foundation now to get started and do that yourself. In the meantime, you can just grab this template that I'll share in the, in the description. And yeah, that's the quickest Clay Mastery I can show you now. I'm probably going to share more advanced stuff in the future, but for now, just grab this template uh, or get started yourself. The barrier to entry is much, much lower than portrayed. I really recommend you getting started. And um, that's um, that was it for this mastery. Now that was it for me. As you could see, it's way easier to get started than it's actually portrayed on social media. So I really recommend you getting started using the links in the description. If you have any questions at all with the template that I've shared, just let me know, comment in this video or send me a DM on LinkedIn or anywhere and I'll help you out. Now that was it for me. Talk to you next time. Cheers.